Hello, this is Eddie Mendoza and welcome to Pathways of Hope. Our gospel passage today is from Matthew 19 verses 16 to 22. This is about a rich young man who consulted Jesus about what good he had to do to gain eternal life. Just a little background, the young man was earnest and he really wanted to be perfect. He was religious in practice and he was interested in finding peace. And he knew about Jesus and he believed that he came to the right place to get the best advice and was even very respectful in addressing Jesus. But when Jesus spelled out to him the conditions of discipleship and what he had to do to follow him, the young man got an instruction that he did not expect. He was discouraged and then he just walked away. Two reflections I want to share with you today. First of all, truly the cost of following Jesus is very steep. Of course, Jesus wasn't requiring anything from this man that wasn't already commanded in the first place. Although the young man was confident that he had religiously complied with all the commands, Jesus was simply highlighting to this young man the one command that he had failed to follow. What command was this? Well, the first and most important of the Ten Commandments, which is, and I quote from Exodus 20, verse 2 to 3, the command says, I am the Lord your God, you shall have no other gods before me. That's the first and most important of the Ten Commandments. And for this man, even though he seemed to be a fair man and related well to his fellow men, apparently, apparently, his source of security and happiness and esteem was his great wealth. And he was not willing to give it up, you know, not for anything. Now, very quickly, very quickly, let me just point out that there is nothing wrong with wealth, okay? This wealth, too, is a result of God's blessings for those who acquire wealth in an honorable way. And God has a good purpose for our material wealth, okay? But what Jesus points out is our relationship with our wealth, you know, what we intend to do with it. Remember that passage when Jesus said, you cannot love God and money at the same time? Well, it's not a command. It's really just what happens. You cannot love God and money at the same time. And in the case of this young man, he loved his wealth more than he loved God. And that's why he was in violation of the first and most important of the Ten Commandments. So, walking away, sad at first, maybe, this young man was later maybe consoling himself, saying, Oh well, I'm okay with where I am now. I'm comfortable in my life. I have good relations with people. No need to do anything different and drastic. I mean, why give that up, right? But listen, my friends. Jesus merely pointed out to this young man and to all of us listening to this reflection today, you know, he's pointing out the common tendency of for all men to give much importance and value to many, many things in place of God in their lives and especially in their hearts. Okay. And as a result, they, we, miss out on the most important thing, which is God's kingdom. And in the case of this young man, it was his wealth. It was his wealth. And for us today, in, in today's modern age, we may not be that wealthy, but our idols can take on many other forms like our successes, the esteem of other people, the reputation we get out of our careers, our relationships, our hobbies, our sports even, and so on. And we also idolize the same in others, and we allow ourselves to be influenced by their views about the world and life in general, rather than the Word of God. But the danger that Jesus is pointing through this young man's example is that all of these are merely different forms of idols that we worship and because God is a jealous God God is a jealous God he does not want us to give more importance on anything in our lives than our relationship with him God doesn't want us to depend on anything else on anyone else for our peace for our happiness for our joy and for our sense of completeness except from him 
from His presence in our lives, from the promises that He has given us and the generously gives to us when we are willing to give up everything and anything for His sake and for His honor. You know, the Gospels are filled with many examples of men and women who dropped everything and followed Jesus and who forsake everything in exchange for living a life according to God's will and in promoting the kingdom of heaven. For them, they look forward to the kingdom of heaven which surpasses anything and everything that this world promises to give. So, my dear friends, take time after this to examine whether there are idols in your life that compete with God as a source of your joy and a source of your happiness and of your attention and as a basis for defining who you are. Decide whom you are to follow this day and ask for forgiveness and let God renew the spirit within you. My second reflection point, going back to the story of that rich young man, I can't help but feel sad for him, really, you know. How sad to see that he missed the one and only opportunity to eternal life. He missed his chance to journey with Jesus. <laughs> you know, if I could only turn back time, you know, I would go back to that time. And I would chase after that young man and comfort him and console him and encourage him to reconsider, to point out to him how much more valuable and precious is the kingdom of God and that it's worth sacrificing everything and anything to get that. But, you know, that's hap that happens to many of us, right? I mean, how often do we see someone start off on a good dream and then they learn how much effort and time it would take to pursue that good dream and then they settle for something less, they give up on the dream and, you know, they pursue something that's easier to achieve. We feel sad for this person, of course, and we wish that he had the courage and the will to, and determination to do whatever is necessary in order to pursue that dream, right? It's sad, but it happens. Maybe even to ourselves. Maybe even to ourselves. On the other hand, on the other hand, we are inspired and we are encouraged whenever we see people go through huge sacrifices in order to pursue their good dreams. I mean, look at the recent Olympics itself. It's a fine example of many young men and women who pursued their dreams and spent thousands and thousands of hours preparing for it and battling all challenges and odds just to just to even qualify and just to show up during the games, right? Well, how about you? How about you? Have you ever desired something and then you were tempted to give up only to receive encouragement from others to just push yourself some more? Praise God for men and women in our lives who had encouraged us never to give up on a good dream. Praise God for them. On the other hand, my dear brothers and sisters, if you're at the crossroads right now, facing challenging times and tempted to give up on something that you initially thought is what you really wanted to do or to become, I pray that the Lord will send you someone to encourage you. I pray that I pray for the Holy Spirit to renew your strength to remind you and make clear the good vision that you are planning and pursuing and to send you men and women who can help you conquer your challenges. One thing is for sure, one thing is for sure, if whatever your vision is and whatever your dream is, if your vision and dream uh, that you now have is aligned with God, if it's aligned with God's will, if it is something that will promote His kingdom, then you can be sure that God will give you the strength and the resources to complete this good work that He has planned for you long ago. My point today, brothers and sisters, is simply this. Simply this. God has a beautiful, beautiful plan for each one of us. And He promises, He promises that this, whatever it is that is given to us, is more precious, more valuable, more delightful than anything that you can ever possibly acquire on your own. All that God expects of you is to believe in Him and to forsake everything and follow Jesus who will lead you along the pathway of hope. God bless us all.